adjusting the bridges on your newly remanufactured Detroit diesel heads. These are for an 8V71 TA. You need two feeler gauges, both 15 thousandths of an inch. One is slightly modified to fit inside this slot. From there, apply a constant downward pressure and then with the other feeler gauge, bring the screw down, it just touches. It's a little tight. There we go. So we'll hold this one in place, taking a half inch wrench. And just snug it. We don't want to tighten it up enormously because we'll be taking these off going to a vise to tighten them up. So you don't want to put rotational stress on these bridges nor on the valves. And we'll check it again. We have a nice tension there. We're good to go to the vise. So now that we've got them snug, we just need to confirm our tightness. So we bring it to the vise. We use the vise to hold it nice and tight. Put it back on the head and we're done. Last step is putting on the rocker arms and this, it's as simple as screwing them in. Now we want to screw them down further than what they're going to be when we install it in the head. because We don't want any tension when we first put it on the head. Make sure that it rocks in. You want to go just so you see that the end of the stud sticking up. Put that down. Then we have to put the cross shaft in. The cross shaft has oil holes in it and the support arms. We lift up the three rocker arms. And why three rocker arms? For those of you who aren't familiar with the operation of a Detroit diesel, it's a mechanical diesel injection. The Two outer rocker arms go on these bridges for the valves. The middle rocker arm is the uh, rocker arm that hits the injector to inject the fuel. Put that through there, put the other one on, and there is a, a way of putting this on. There's a machined side and a cast side. Obviously the machine, machined side goes against the valves. Or the rockers, I should say. This goes down. Now, we have jake brakes on ours, so we'll be installing the jake brakes on these only after these are installed on the head or on the block. We had to get some remanufactured rocker arms, three sets of them actually, because some of the valves were not set correctly. And this is the damage that ensues when you don't set your valves correctly. So setting your valves, a very important part of engine longevity and performance.